Crasso. Here we go. With you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are Le Coq cuisine, Le Coq correct? Coq, correct. Did correct. That yep. Correctly? Yep. Absolutely. Very French. This is your set of 16 large savory. This is the French segment of the show. We uh -huh. just had Le Crasso. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have the beautiful Crasso. Crasso. Ho ho. <laughs> um, hey, what we're talking about are savory croissants, and I received a sample of these this past week. And there are two to choose from. You may choose bacon and egg. Yep. Which I really loved. Ham and cheese, Absolutely. which I really loved. Yep. Or you can choose a combo where you get eight of each. Absolutely. These are designed to be enjoyed any day, any time, time of day. Anywhere. Absolutely. And what you just did is illustrate the shattering. Shatter crisp moment. The shatter crisp. <laughs> we should have a wine called shatter crisp, <laughs> don't you? It sounds, that. it sounds regal. This is that. Beautiful, crispy, delicious croissant that is packed with a lovely filling. Tell us the story of oh, these. Oh, it's so, so exciting. Eric Lecoq is the owner, creator, and founder of Lecoq Cuisine. He is a he's French born. He came to this country 25 years ago, world renowned French pastry chef, with the idea to that every every American should experience true, authentic French croissant. And 25 years later, he's now the preeminent purveyor of fine French pastries all over America. Five star hotels, five star cafes, five star restaurants. If you're in, the, if you're the owner of one of those uh, establishments, you're going to know Eric Lecoq. Now you mm. bake these from frozen. Yeah, when I yeah. got mine home, mm. it suggests putting parchment paper on a sheet pan, yep. which I did. And I popped these into the oven, and after about 17 minutes, they were perfection. Yep. I got them. I made one of each to try it. So I had the breakfast or the bacon and egg, and I had the ham and cheese. Richard, they're delightful. Thank you. They are crispy, <clears throat> they're buttery, and they're full of this yep. dramatic and gorgeous filling. Now, those are the bacon and egg. Those are the bacon and so egg. So inside, basically, it's an egg mixture yep. with bacon. So, so first of all, the croissant is perfection. It is no, no, it's a real French croissant. No proofing, no baking, no thawing overnight, no, no proofing overnight. We have the Shatter crisp exterior. We have that honeycomb effect inside. Look at those layers of butter, layers of pastry. Mm -hmm. And then the filling is a homemade bacon and egg or ham and cheese. Bacon and egg with a hint of chives. You can just see them there. And the thing about the filling, David, it's like as if you're in Paris and you go to one of those little brasseries, those one of those little restaurants, and the the simplest thing, an omelet or bacon and egg. Always tastes fantastic. That is what Eric Lecoq from Lecoq Cuisine has done with this. The filling is homemade, so it's a mixture of that old world French charm of the French pastry and two of America's favorite flavors, ham and cheese and bacon and egg. But it's a Swiss cheese, is that it's right? A, it's cheddar cheese and Swiss cheese. Sweater, uh, cheddar and yep. Swiss. And what I really loved about these are, are they're crispy, they're buttery, they're delicious, and then mm. the filling is is gorgeous inside. Yep. Now I will tell you that French pastry is not, unlike American pastry, is not overfilled with Absolutely, filling. Absolutely, yeah. So you should know that it is adequately filled, yeah. but it's not going to be like a big jelly yep. donut like yeah. you buy in the States where yeah. it's just oozing with filling. Absolutely, yeah. Because the, the French consider the pastry to be as much of an art Absolutely. as the filling. Absolutely right there. Now yeah. this is the ham and cheese. Mmm. Drum roll maestro. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Creamy. And perfect and buttery and worthy of the happy dance. Oh. Happy dance. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Right. No, I will up. say that the um, bacon egg, yep. I have fewer than 400 left. A few more to go around in the ham and cheese, but most popular is combo where uh -huh. you're getting eight of the bacon and egg yep. and eight of the ham yep. and cheese. Absolutely. And so, so what, what, what I love to tell people, this is, this is created as an entree. So for example, you can put a vegetable, a couple of vegetables like here with the mashed potato and a vegetable and you've got yourself an entire meal. You can make, as Eric likes to call it, a Parisian lunch, which is a croissant, a savory croissant, and then some nice salad and a little bit of dressing just to go with that. That's a great idea. Or if you, you know, in these in these bleak winter weeks now coming up, to have this gourmet food item, this entree, this ham and egg or bacon and cheese, sorry, bacon and egg or ham and cheese in the freezer is just such a great way to go. I mean, mm. think about this. You serve this with a lovely green salad, you've yep. got a perfect lunch. Absolutely. You have this in the morning with mm. maybe some hash brown potatoes, some yep. fresh fruit, and you have breakfast. Absolutely. This is there's a lovely fruit salad that's served in a martini glass. That's so clever. So really, really beautiful the way this can come together. Serve it for a Sunday breakfast. Brunch with mimosas, so perfect. These are delightful, and I was so thrilled when I got a sample at home, mostly because I was hungry that day, and um, also really exciting to be able to 
uh, enjoy the fantastic flavor of these. I had never tried them before until I received my sample at home, and they are just so Thank easy you. to make. Thank you, David. Now, I will tell you, the directions say 18 to, what 20, is it? 22, 22 minutes. minutes. Yeah. I really found that after about 17 minutes, 17 minutes, 30 seconds, I was good. Uh-huh, absolutely. Yeah, and until I think, golden uh, brown, that's the thing. Yeah, you ovens will vary a bit. Brown. Absolutely. Yeah, ovens will vary a bit. Yep. Mine just tends to be a little hotter and cooks faster. So this is going to be one of those situations you want to keep an eye on it. Um, and preheat the oven. Yep, yep, yep. And then pop these in. Absolutely. And so again, so versatile for breakfast, for brunch, for tea. You know, again, like I say, they were made, they're larger, as big as my hand. They were made as an entree, but you can have them absolutely any time of the day. And remember, this is a real French croissant. They are just delightful. One of my favorite new food items. They're new to me, at least. I know they've been uh -huh. on the show many times. Yep. So this is an opportunity for you to pick yours up. Free shipping and handling. Use that cue card. You can get three pay on this, which is really mm. remarkable. How about a little elbow shake, oh, sir? Oh, thank you, sir. Thank okay. you. Mm. Good to have you back. Bon All right. Bonjour. Au <laughs> revoir. All right. Here we are. Let's head our head over here because it's time to head into our cookbook corner. Uh. Oh, here we are. I'm waving. Oh, thank you, Marlene. I'll take that from you. Thank you, dear. Come out here now that I've said your name.